Hi. This is quite the start for a furry info video, I must say, but let's talk about fursuit trends and how certain fursuit styles are coming and going and why that might be and if they're actually dying or not. So a tweet was sent my way recently about someone who seemed to be upset about a cartoony style fursuit, or at least that style in general, slowly becoming less and less prevalent within furry. I'm so irrationally upset over the fact that not a lot of people make fursuits like this anymore. I miss those big, rounded, toony eyes. My artistic recreation. This fursuit style was everywhere when I became a furry in 2012. Like, what the fuck happened? And you know, I can actually relate with this sentiment, because I do have a very cartoony style fursuit. I mean, like, my character in general is very cartoony, even overly cartoony to an extent. But still, with regards to this tweet, it actually got me thinking, is that style of overly cartoony characters for fursuits dying? Is that gonna be a thing of the past, or will it have a resurgence in the future? And I think all it comes down to in this case is just social trends. Believe it or not, furry is big enough to have its own set of trends. I mean, fuck, we've got our own furry wheel of drama. We have revolving topics within drama topics, or like controversies, or discussions, more like just arguments that get nowhere within furry. Like, of course there are gonna be different trends. We have our own forms of entertainment, we have our own memes and humor, and so with that, there's gonna be some new trends or new styles that people want to follow for fursuits. Especially, you know, knowing furry is kind of materialistic in some sense, with its love for fursuits and art. It's not to say that furry is strictly materialistic, but, you know, there's a point to be made about fursuits being a very big part of it. And with fursuits being a big part of it, obviously, people's preferences for what they want to see going forward with fursuits change. I will say, the OP of this tweet was kind of right about the style of fursuits being very cartoony and slapsticky back in, like, 2012. Not that I was there in 2012, but, like, in 2018 to 2019, you'd see a lot of really, really cute fursuits. And, and cartoony would be, like, the main sort of energy they'd be going for. I don't know if it's just me, but the trend in terms of fursuits, at least the ones that people want to have going forward, are more like sexy, hot, appealing, good looking. It's less of like uwu cute nowadays. Not to say that any specific style of fursuit is dying, by the way. Everyone's gonna have their own preferences for what they want, but a majority tend to trend towards whatever is the new, hip, cool thing that people want to see. Is it a bad thing? Not necessarily, I think it's a great thing. And even when I was commissioning my Levi fursuit, I definitely wanted his vibe to be like less cartoony and cutesy and innocent and adorable, and I wanted him to be a lot more serious and confident and outgoing, and that definitely had to do with the expression that I wanted for him. And so the feeling like the cartoony, overly round eye style of fursuit is going away is definitely, you know, valid. I think nowadays people definitely prefer very sexy and hot looking fursuit suitors. You know, like Kigurumi Kagetsu. That's like the next big fursuit maker I want to get personally. I would love a fursuit from them, and I see them all the time, and people are loving that style. It's so cool, so edgy. There's so many other words to describe it, but like, hot and sexy is one of those that people would probably use for them. Now, outside of trends and everything, I don't think the cartoony style of fursuit is dying or going away. I definitely think there are enthusiasts out there, and people that still like that style. Like, even looking at the comments on on this tweet, there are so many people who replied who have all sorts of cartoony style fursuits. Even Made For You even replied to this tweet saying no one commissions them for toony eyes anymore. Maybe once every few years they get a request for it. They're much more known for making handsome and, and very sexy looking fursuits, at least from what I've seen and what people perceive them as. And even the fursuit maker Golden Maw left a very intuitive comment on this whole situation. The Looney Tunes eye style used to be popular, but then clients really started wanting bedroom eyes on their suits more and more when mer suits quit being so ostracized. I remember like eight years ago when literally all my clients started requesting them. That's a really good point to make though. Like, I don't know when this happened in, in terms of like a time frame within furry, but there was a point where like mer suits, or at least I, I guess the NSFW or adult side of furry as a whole became less and less ostracized. But nowadays, like furries don't care. And those who do care just kind of want to make a ruckus for nothing. If you're separating it as such and being you know, healthy and reasonable about it, then that's fine. It's 
It's like a saying that one of my friends told me years ago, anime in the streets, hentai in the sheets. I don't know if that fully applies to this situation, but it's something I have gone with and has worked quite well. I know the whole thing about like the adult side of furry being more and more accepted as years have gone on is like correlation to what is happening with new fursuit styles, but I like to think it does have something to do with it. I know this is like an outlandish example, but how much people are partial fursuiting compared to full suiting is a big thing to keep a note of in terms of trends. Streetwear is a very big thing within furry than it used to be years ago. I remember when I had my Machine 56 jacket that I'd wear while I was partialing around as Maverick, and I'd see like maybe one to two people, maybe a con or so, wearing another jacket like that. Nowadays, I can't go to a con without seeing like a group of people wearing streetwear or Machine 56. Hell, at FWA this last year, there was a pretty big photo shoot for people who had Machine 56 attire with their fursuits. And again, that's just one trend that started small and has slowly picked up pace to what it is now. And it'll be interesting to see where trends lead with regards to furry. Like, will fursuits evolve into being more 3D printed or more electronics being involved? What'll be the new style that people want to see for furry artwork and also fursuits in general? And I think because of trends, there is a very real possibility that cartoony style fursuits may be a prevalent thing in years to come. People might think, oh, we've gotten too advanced. We should go back to tradition of like what we enjoyed before. And then like that whole style of fursuit might come back up and be the new trendy hip thing that people enjoy. I guess the lesson here is like, don't let trends within furry or social media deter you from enjoying a certain style or a certain theming. You know, all these different fursuit styles are valid and they're cool and you should enjoy them how you like. But I just wanted to talk about this today because I, I found this tweet to be very interesting interesting, and I sort of personally related to it because, you know, I have a toony style fursuit in general, and I've definitely seen trends shift within furry recently. But if you have any other thoughts on this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Uh, I do like this discussion about, like, trends and social media and how internet changes things, life changes, haha, this is so fun, we love it. But still, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, I greatly appreciate the support on this. If you want me to talk about anything else like this that's sort of free form, because I didn't script this video at all, I'm doing good so far, I'd appreciate any recommendations as well. But that's about gonna do it for me, have a wonderful night guys, and uh, as always, take care. Bye guys!